Hi guys, I am Centaurian Mudpig and welcome along to Void Destroyer. This is a game which will be very soon available on Steam Greenlight and has been available for some time to kickstart to backers back last year. Now, while I was one of the kickstarter backers, I have to admit I didn't spend too much time with this. Uh, so really today is going to be the day where I get proper hands on and the only way we can do that is to figure out how to play the game using tutorials. So for this starter sequence I'm just going to go through all the basic tutorials. Let's get started shall we? Alright, so that'll be our little ship down there. We just launched from a star base. Well, we've even got little pictures now, which is new. So, morning, sir. Today we'll be running through basic flight. Be sure to share any nuggets of wisdom you have for the recording. Sure, we say. This is ship mode where the action takes place. You can directly control the ship or watch as the crew do their job on your behalf. You can maneuver your ship via the mouse or joystick, right mouse, but right mouse button or joystick button one to fire weapons. When you're ready, close the comms, then press F2 to switch to chase view. Uh, I think for this we will use mouse. Right, so F2, chase view, there we go, and then we can use right mouse, can we? Didn't do anything. Right, you know in my day we didn't have fancy chase cameras, we had to move our necks occasionally. Chase view can be very useful during combat, giving you a wider field of view. So, from Sergeant Echo, then you are really going to like the next one. Press F3 to switch to orbit view. While in orbit view, hold down the right mouse button, then move the mouse to rotate the camera around your ship. You can, use, you can also use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Orbit view is a great tool when you need to pick up cargo or just enjoy the scenery. Orbit view, and there we go. Now can see the star base behind us. So you can see that the developer has gone with a toon shaded look. This is his idea. So a bit like comics, etc. Right, great. Press F1 to go back to the cockpit view when you are ready. Yeah, so let's go back to cockpit view. Right, recap, cockpit view, chase view, rotate view, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, press backspace key to set the ship's speed to cruise speed. Your ship speed and the cases are displayed in the lower right hand corner of the hood. Backspace, off we go. And there we go, I can see down there, stuff was happening. Now our speed is increasing. Cruise speed is the ship's optimal speed. The actual value varies based on the ship type and class. So the intensive cruise speed is to travel at a manifold rate due to lack of dragging space. The cruise speed value is a speed that the individual ship will easily be able to handle when changing direction without too much drifting. So we can go faster than cruise speed. Press the equals key to increase the ship speed. This allows you to travel faster than cruise speed. Press the minus key to slow the ship down. Your ship can travel in reverse. Press the backslash key to stop. There are no speed limits for us, but you have to keep in mind that it will take you the same amount of time to slow down. So, equals, speed up, minus key, slow down, 
I'll start. There you go, it's actually with a hash key there. I've got the hash key binding key faulted to. Your ship will automatically attempt to travel at the speed set. There's the recap. Backspace cruise speed equals speed up minus slow down. Backslash hash for us to set speed to zero. Ships are equipped with directional thrusters allowing you to override your ship speed setting. Press and hold W for forward thrust. This is useful in a variety of situations, most of all in an attempt to avoid collisions and enemy fire. Right, so now we're accelerating. Let your ship come to a stop, then press S to reverse thrust. We're slowing down. And reverse thrust. Ships come equipped with thrusters in all six directions. A to left thrust, D to right thrust, Q to ascend thrust, E to descend thrust. Right, so we're thrusting up with Q, thrust down with E. Great, recap. W forward, S back, A left, D right, Q up, E down. Manual thruster control can be a lifesaver in combat as well as good use during docking or picking up objects. Press the F2 key again to switch to chase mode. The ship's engines are equipped with afterburners. These will allow your ship engines to greatly increase its forward acceleration. Press and hold the tab key to activate afterburners. Using afterburners drains their capacity, which will take a brief moment to recharge. Afterburn! Woo! Wow, that was a very brief moment. Afterburners are useful when making course corrections to counteract the effect of built up momentum and during combat to charge at or retreat from enemies. Press Z to roll your ship left, C to roll your ship right. Roll left. Ooh, barrel roll. Roll right. If your ship has turrets, rolling can help align turrets to their optimal firing arcs. You can also roll your ship via a joystick that has a third axis. Currently your ship should be in auto thrust mode. You can see which mode your ship is in, in the bottom ship status icons. Let's turn off auto thrust mode. Press F to toggle auto thrust. Auto thrust is here to keep your ship moving in the direction that it is facing and to maintain speed set by the speed setting. F, there we go, so the little white diamond turns off. Auto thrust should now be disabled. Press the backspace key to set the speed setting to cruise speed. Cruise speed we go. And nothing happening. Notice that the ship isn't reaching its set speed. This is because when auto thrust mode is disabled, the speed setting has no influence on your ship. Now press the A key to left thrust. Thrust in. And we're keeping on thrust in. When you let go of the A key, the ship will still travel to its left and not slow down. Don't forget to combine disabling auto thrust and using the afterburners, allowing you to surpass your cruise speed quite easily. Disable auto thrust and use the directional thruster in combat while keeping a bead on your target. 
This will avoid collisions and still allow you to fire on your target. When you pass your target, do a 180 to still keep your guns firing. Now re-engage autofrost by pressing the F key. Autofrost re-engage, let's finish doing our barrel rolls so we're now level. Now that autofrost is engaged, your ship will reach its speed setting and will thrust right to compensate for the previous left thrust. So don't forget, by turning off autofrost you can maneuver without changing flight direction. Thus you can aim your opponent without flying towards them. Your mouse can be used to manoeuvre your ship, it can also be used to interact with the ship's heads up display. But press the left control key to change the mouse mode. Left control key, mouse mode set to manoeuvre. Chances are that you don't have a joystick to pilot with. If that's the case then your mouse mode is now set to GUI mode. In this mode your mouse won't maneuver your ship anymore, instead you can interact with the HUD by clicking on it. If you have a joystick then the default mouse mode is GUI mode and you have just switched to mouse maneuver mode. So I had a 360 pad attached which the game picked up. Every ship should come with a joystick, if only as an option. It is a bit old school these days, sir. This completes the Flight Basics tutorial. Full stop. So, tutorial completed. All we have to do is press escape to get on out of here. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. But from me, goodbye for now.